Kim Engelen, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you uh, again. Thank you. When did you discover that your, uh, the, your art is, uh, is uh, in Israel? Uh, it, it was uh, Saturday. I found out what happened. Uh, an artist contacted me via WhatsApp, Noah Sharuzi. And then a journalist, Noah Cohen, contacted me. And uh, I was extremely affected. My body was shaking. My cheeks were red flushed. My emotions were running wild. I didn't get what was going on. It's, it's, still, it's, still, uh, very, it still makes me very anxious. I'm very nervous. It's, 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 uh, it's not a great feeling. I will translate uh, with your permission. אני שואל את קים אנגלן, מתי גילתה, מתי גילתה שיצירה שלה מוצגת כאן בגלריה בתל אביב, יצירה שאף אחד לא ביקש את רשותה להציג אותה, אז היא אומרת ביום שבת גיליתי את זה, אומנים פנו אליי, עיתונאים פנו אליי ברגע ששמעתי רעדתי, נהייתי אדומה, לא הבנתי מה קורה, זה עדיין מרגיז אותי מאוד. We have to understand, both artists say something about a Niger, Nigerian red, residency. Have you ever uh, asked to participate in such, in such thing? Uh, no, I have not. And uh, thanks to the Tel Aviv artist community, uh, we are unraveling what is going on. And uh, it was uh, during the COVID time, they offered an, uh, a virtual artist in residency for $1,500, and, uh, and this is the artist call that I reacted on. It's a, it's a so totally no different Nigerian, residency. Uh, yeah, I will translate with yes. your permission. אני שואל, yes. אני שואל את האומנית קים אנגלן, האם היא אי פעם הגישה מועמדות לרזידנסי ניגרי? מדוע אני שואל את השאלה הזו? כי זה מה, שעולב, זה מה שעומד בלב התערוכה הזו. לכאורה האומנים טוענים שהם פתחו מין קול קורא וירטואלי אמיתי, ובו ביקשו מאומנים מרחבי העולם להגיש בקשה לאותו רזידנסי. אומרת לנו קים אנגלן שהיא מעולם... גם לא הגישה בקשה למין רזידנסי שכזה, אלא לרזידנסי אחר, COVID-19 קוראים לו, וכנראה משם העבודות נלקחו. Did you speak to the Israeli artist to ask them why did you stole my art? Uh, I have not. No. No. No, no, not via... Why, yeah. why? Why? Uh, because they want to make a statement about uh, open calls for for artists and uh, uh, about I guess about the exploitative act of this and they do this by actually becoming themselves exploitative I will uh, translate with your permission. Uh, שאלתי האם היא שוחחה עם, ה, עם הזוג מילגרום uh, שלקחו את העבודה שלה בלי uh, רשותה, אז היא אומרת לא, לא שוחחתי איתם. אני מבינה מדוע הם עשו את זה, הם לכאורה רצו להצהיר הצהרה על ניצול של אומנים, ובסופו של דבר הם עשו עבודת uh, ניצול בעצמם. I want to thank you so much, uh, Kim Angelen, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Uh, please, can, can I tell some more? Because now they yes, exactly yes, got please. what they wanted. Yes. Yes, they got their attention. They got their names. They got their fame. And I also want to voice uh, the name of the artists infected in this because there are other artists uh, like me. Uh, uh, I don't mind a good discussion, and this is a theme that could be discussed. But it's like when you are a vegetarian and you don't like people to eat meat, that you are starting to... To kill, uh, that you start to kill animals. That is not, that is not the right way to have a good uh, discussion. And before that, this, these, uh, I call them bullies, not artists or curators. Before these uh, art bullies did this action, it was only about the exploitation of companies asking an application fee for artists um, to apply, but you could just uh, ignore that as an artist. But now these artists, uh, I call them, not, not, not call them artists, we call them bullies, art bullies. Uh, they, um, I'm so anxious, I don't even recall what I want to say. <laughs> um, but, they, <laughs> sorry. but they took a work of mine, uh, which is uh, an ongoing project about bridges. 
And my my project about bridges is actually uh, uh, building, building, getting together, uh, building on trust, uh, cooperate, collaborations, and they, to me, completely mutilated my work because they use it in a context of aggression. Uh, uh, the, the, I think why the artist community is so fierce about this mm-hmm. is because if you're a hardworking and serious artist. Uh, it's so damaging to have other artists so still from you. Yeah, on your com- trust. Completely still for you. Uh, I will translate yes. uh, with your permission. I will translate with your permission. Kim Angelen says that there are other artists from me that have been working on their work. She says that it doesn't matter to me from a good discussion. I am happy to have a good discussion. But this is not the way. She gives an example. She says that it's like when you're a person of faith, you don't talk about faith in the fact that you're a person of faith. חיות אחרות, אני לא קוראת להם אומנים, היא אומרת, אני קוראת להם אה, בריונים, הם אפילו לא עוצרים, הם אה, לקחו עבודה שלי, עבודה שהיא חלק מעבודה מתמשכת, שעוסקת בעבודה משותפת ובחיבור, והם ניצלו את העבודה שלי בצורה אלימה משלהם. קים, תודה רבה לכם. תודה רבה לכם. תודה רבה לכם. תודה רבה לכם. Yes, please. Um, so I would actually like to show a better way of having this uh, exhibition, uh, having this discussion. Uh, in 2020, I started a five-year art book project uh, where I interviewed uh, artists. Uh, and actually, the second book was about the open call. You can find it on my website or Amazon. And uh, now for the third book, uh, I would like to interview all the artists Who, whose work has been stolen and abused. Great idea, like great this, idea, uh, great book. idea. Thank you again, Kim Angelen. לסיום היא אומרת לנו שהיא עובדת על, 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 גם על יצירות ספרתיות, אומנותיות. היא עכשיו רוצה שהספר השלישי יעמוד במרכזו אותם אומנים שהעבודות שלהם נגנבו. נגנבו. יונתן אמיר, אתה איתנו, שמעת את השיחה שקיימנו עכשיו עם קים אנגלן. זה, זה פשוט מעורר פלצות מה שקרה כאן. כן, זה מאוד מטריד.